Hey everybody, <clears throat> how you doing today? Um, doing a pod review. Today is a giant white habanero. From here, Refining Fire Chilies. From Jim Duffy's site. I know how well you can see it. Um, this is the first time I'm <clears throat> actually doing it without the wife. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. I got this camera I'm trying to use to utilize so I can hopefully do more pod reviews too. But I really like her doing it with me. It's, it's, you, know, you, you guys get to miss out on that beautiful voice of hers. But anyway, it's a giant white habanero. Um, you can look up some information on the giant white habanero on um, refinefirechilies.com. <clears throat> give some information on it. It's a beautiful pepper. Um, it's actually tasty. Um, <clears throat> it's not a really, really hot pepper, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a bite again. I had, a, I had, a, I, I bit into it. I ate one a while back, real quick. Um, but we're gonna check into this right now. <clears throat> but it is a <clears throat> nice, nice. There's just some nice paws there. <clears throat> they have a white pearl, like a pearly color. It's so beautiful, um, just like the white Bujalokia, similar in color. But uh, I'm gonna take this big one right here and go right at it. Uh, go eat it right off. Mm. You can see the the juice, the uh, capsaicin, the oil. It's a lot of it. It's a big pepper, um, but you know they skimming it's building up. Nice smooth flavor, especially for that uh, uh, habanero type pepper. I really am digging the uh, these white peppers, white buchalokia, the. Um, White hab. Mm. It's got some medium heat to it, especially surprisingly for a white. Um, it hits. Doesn't take long for it to hit in the mouth. Um, feel it in the back, back of the throat, and uh, on the mouth, and going down a little bit in the throat. Not much, but it is hitting the throat some. That's a nice burn. Nice burn with a with a um, with almost a zero aftertaste. I mean, if anything, it's a decent aftertaste. I really like it. Um, good flavor. Nice heat. Um, it's got a nice burn. You got to remember too. I mean. It's not like these, these uh, million and up uh, super hots, you know. But these are some big boys, man. That was a big one, man. It was bigger than this. So it's got a lot of oil in there, man. I'm just thinking like, like a king cobra. It's not. I don't. Think, I don't think it's in the top ten most venomous snakes in the world, but things are so big. Boom! They put a lot of venom in you. And this has got a lot of. A lot of oil, man. You can feel it all in your mouth. Um, I actually got into a habit of cutting them in half and showing inside, but it's got a nice burn, man. If I remember correctly, I, I, don't, I would definitely say that this thing is probably hotter than a, a white Buchalukia. Definitely the same, but I, it feels like it's hotter. But I just think because it's just so big, it's got so much oil in there. It just moves around the mouth and the throat. I said it's even giving me a little, a little teeny throat burn there. But a good pepper. I actually got some of these guys growing in my garden. I jumped on that. I would love to make a sauce out of these. And if something goes wrong, 
but my peppers, I'm going to be begging for, uh, for Jim to, uh, send me some, sell me some, uh, good quality. So I can, I got to make some sauce out of this. I really like to make a sauce out of the, uh, white hab and the, um, white bucciloca. Maybe even mix them together. Um, sorry if the kid keeps moving. I have it actually, the camera on something. I just did it again. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna hit the table, it moves. Like I said, I don't got my wifey with me. Um, but he, he, you can order the seeds from them, I believe. I'm pretty sure he has some now. And certain times that he already has some plants too. You have to hit him up to see if he has plants, but I think he might be out by now. But again, refining fire chilies. Um, he's got, in the back of him, it says, proud to offer the rarest and hottest chili seeds, plants, and Fresh chilies. You see down there, I don't know if you could actually read it with this card. But you can go on the side and it says all this good stuff on there. Um, I actually had a couple habaneros from my garden I was going to put in and kind of compare them, but I forgot. But that's all right. The habs come in so many different colors, yellow, um, red, orange, different sizes and um, shapes. But... Uh, all in all, good pod. I mean, excellent, excellent for sauce. Um, very good. Um, it's a decent flavor. Good for sauce. You could actually, like what my wife does, you could have a dish, take a bite, take, you know, and it's a, kind of a pepper to do that with. Eat it by itself like I did. Um, mix it with some food. Uh, it's good. But uh, thanks again, Jim Duffy, for sending these to me. I just wanted to do this. This is the last of the piles I have from Jim Duffy. I actually had the AG Amarillos, and I actually ate those things before. I, I think I might either thought I had more than I thought, or I just couldn't help it. I just gobbled those things up. But anyway, this is the last time I just want to do a pod review of this. I might be doing another one a little later on another from uh, Butch Taylor. But thanks again, Jim Duffy. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Likes, put likes, comments on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you very much. Take care, y'all.